And is that you tell me your story? What happened? You fell off the monkey bars. You fell off the monkey bars. And did you land flat on your back or did you land somewhere first? I landed on my back flat. Flat on here. Yeah? When he hit when he fell, he, he landed flat on his back and he didn't move till the teacher came and picked him up. Right. Um but ever since then he's been complaining of sore back. Yeah. Um because he, he would sit on the chair at the table while everyone was sitting on the floor and he would say that he was not comfortable. And have you noticed any changes in him in the last few days after the pain? Like has his digestion changed, going to the toilet, anything like that? No? no. That's good. The nerves that come out of this area have a lot to do with the bowel and the bladder and things like that. Yeah. And some children, after they've fallen like this, um, tend to start wetting the bed or they might get constipated or loose bowels, something like that. Yeah. Happens quite a lot. It can also affect problems higher up the spine too. Now this tells me if your skin's warm or cold. Okay? And it also tickles. <laughs> I call it my tickle machine. It just seems like the vertebra's stuck, it's not moving properly, and so therefore the joint's not functioning. And also, of course, there's local bruising, which you would get anyway, just from falling. Got a lot of swelling down here. Okay, what we're doing here, we're just feeling for the motion in the joints just to see if the vertebrae are actually moving or not. And then I've got to figure out if they're not moving, in what direction they're not moving. Because when we correct the spine, it's not enough to just be on the right level of the spine. We've, you've got to only correct the directions of misalignment and leave everything else alone. So it takes a while to figure out exactly what is going on. So where can you feel the pain the most? Up high. Yeah. It actually created two problems when he fell. Either when he fell or he already had... He's, been, he's actually been saying that he's had a sore back for a while, haven't you? For a long time. Well that makes sense. Because I was going to say, I think he's already had a problem prior to the fall. Okay. I think he's had a problem with his sacrum for quite a while. Okay. And... Um, what could that be from? That can be just from birth, um, just the way he's born, the way he presents. It could be learning to walk, falling on their bottom. Um, by the time they go from birth to this age, they've fallen on their bottom a hundred times. Yeah. They've, you know, they've done somersaults. They've jumped off a lounge room chair, <laughs> and um, yeah, so <laughs> very easy to do that. Quite often, children have a lot of bedwetting issues, have a problem down there, hyperactivity. Um, restlessness, um, so-called growing pain. If they complain of aching legs and irritable legs when they're tired, yeah, is that him? But that those aching legs and irritable legs. Like yeah, yeah, that can all come from down here. So I think that's an existing problem. All right, mate. What we need to do is get your spine straight, like that. That's it, there, isn't it? Yeah. Alright. Now all I need to do is use... Do you want to watch this? Do you want to see what I'm doing? I'm a bit hesitant to watch Yeah, no, it's probably good that you do because most people are really surprised just how little force is required to fix these properly. Chiropractic practice properly is all about being really, really specific. And um, what we don't do is rattle the spine or twist it. I've just got two fingers right on that vertebra there. You can't see, so I don't even look, buddy. <laughs> Keep still, sir. And what I'm going to do is use my leg to hold all the good stuff in place. So what this leg's doing is making sure none of this moves. Yeah. And then this arm's going to do the same for this top half. Make sure none of the good stuff moves. And if we do that, we fix it. We can just push it in. That feels great. Alright, that's good. When the nerve pressure comes off, it can sort of turn the bowel on a little bit too, so if he, you know, goes to the toilet more than usual or something, don't worry. You might even talk about his legs and say they're a little bit tingly or heavy or numb or something like that. Don't worry about that either. It's all good.
And how long do you think it'll take for the swelling? Not long at all. It's the good thing about children is their nervous systems are so new that, and everything is so new, they're just ready to fire. Yeah. And yeah, so you were saying that after we adjusted that one, what, half an hour did you stay on the toilet or so? 20 minutes on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> and um, after that he just bounced off the wall all night. Yeah. All night. Until he just flanked it. Did you have lots of energy? Yeah. And it's so true, like it happens in adults too, but kids especially, if you take that pressure off the nerves, yeah. they can just, they just have to go hyperactive for a yeah. while. And he definitely had a, he definitely had a The interesting thing is that we, we often see in children that that particular problem can cause a lot of hyperactivity, a lot of irritability, um, attention, like kids with a diagnosis of attention deficit, we yeah. quite often find that problem. So it's kind of ironic that by fixing that problem it can give them a lot of energy as well for a while, but then they calm down a day or two later. Yeah, um, yeah. But you notice that when he played football the next day, he could run a lot easier too. He, he ran longer. He just yeah. he just did not stop running. Yeah. Usually he sits at the goal line and yeah. just watches. But yeah, right. on Saturday, just gone, he went in for the tackle. Did you have lots of energy in your leg? He didn't, I swear to you, he did not stop the whole hour. No, that's great. That was good. That, that's good. I mean, without even checking in, that's a sign that we've got a lot of pressure off the nerves. Like that, his body, you know, they, especially children, they tell you in their function. Um, yeah. How they're going. So turn around and let me have a look at you, okay? Well, you know what? I don't know if we even need to adjust yeah. you. We don't need to adjust you at all today. You look good. <laughs> 